guys, Zachary Miller here, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about the history of the Humble Battle Jacket. I've got mine on for this video along with a Hazard shirt. It's a little wet right now because I went out in the rain with it, so yeah. The Battle Jacket, where it's originated from is World War II, when pilots would put patches or paintings of their insignia from their uh, quadrant on their jacket. And later, it became pop culture references to TV shows, actresses, movies, or whatever they liked. After the war, the pilots went to being bikers, and they would decorate it with the insignia of their gang or club, along with the pop culture references still. And most of them chose to cut the sleeves off, as the leather ones were too restricting. But they still wanted something that offered them protections against the harsh rocks kicked up and slammed against them. After rock and roll made bigger news, uh, the battle jacket began to be adopted by uh, by rebellious teenagers and kids who wanted to look different and be different. Also, a thing with the biker one. Going back to that for a second. There were two groups called, I believe one was the Rockers and one was the Mods. The Rockers looked like your typical nowadays biker. Big, long hair, in groups, and looked kind of badass. The Mods had hideous Italian scooters and decked out the front with lights and, um, lights and mirrors. They had an unhealthy obsession with it, and if you ever want to look it up, just look up the history of the battle jacket like I did and find a picture of the mod, because trust me, oh and by the way, this was suggested by a commenter, but trust me, they are hideous as hell. Though metalheads may try to forget it, punks were the first ones that had battle jackets. Now theirs were of course made of leather with sleeves and mostly decorated with paintings, some patches here and there, but it was never really what you see now. After the punks would do it, at and they were also the first non-club or gang to associate it with. Once bands like once older bands like Judas Priest began to adopt the leather look, um, people started to pick up the battle jacket more and become more interested in it. Though the denim was brought in than no other man than his, no man other than him, the one himself, Lemmy Kilmeister. He brought in the blue denim look that we all know and love today. So, that's my brief history of battle jackets. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Um, check out the links to Deadly Visions music. Um, sorry, Diabolic Intent, for not using your music. But I wanted to change it up. Uh, they will be coming back, of course. I just need to switch up things from here, from, from time to time, so it doesn't get too stale. Uh, check out the Facebook page, I've posted on there a couple times recently. And check out the album Slaughter is Foreplay by Deadly Visions. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!